We got upset with Rap Brown and Stokely Carmichael years ago when they said violence as an American is as American as apple pie. Uh, and, uh, and yet it is, unfortunately. And it's not poor black people that are flooding the streets with guns. <laughs> Well, they're not walking in the community. Someone is bringing them in. They're not manufacturing in the community. Someone have to bring them in. And so it's a calculated plan to bring the gun and bring the violence into the community. Basically how the, the gun stuff really get into, into the, the projects is the, the tracks, the trains that run down Wilmington and come across Compton Avenue and the nation's like this, stop. No conductor, none, nowhere in sight. And they just, it's open house. People just go up there and grab guns, mopeds, car parts, anything that was on there. You mean there would be guns inside a, a box guns, car? I'm talking about crates, man. Crates are stacked up, yay high, all the way up to the top, full of guns. And then another, you might go to another car, it might be boxes and crates full of shells, cases of shells and stuff, for any kind of gun you want. And nobody knew where it came from? Nobody knew where it come from. All of a sudden, the train, Everybody hear the train. The, the train is dead. It's, we know it's something on the train. And they run straight to the train, and whatever was there's on the train, they come up on. Just a, a boxcar just sitting there, and there it was. Yes. Several boxcars. I mean, it'd be a whole be train. Like... They dropped guns from the helicopters for Nickerson. They dropped guns from, guns the, helicopters. from the helicopters for Nickerson. They put the Union Pacific Railroad back the car up there for the Pueblos. And then the kids broke in and loaded with guns. We saw that in the 60s also in working with the gangs. Uh, it was done a little different then. Uh, we would find, uh, say, a van full of guns, handguns, parked in the middle of the projects. It wouldn't stay there an hour and it'd be broken into and all those guns would be gone. Guns were always made readily available in these communities. The guns come in from organized families, so to speak, uh, Let's say from your old, um, hmm, we can say from some of your old police that were on the wrong side of things. They, One side supply the other. That's were business. They, were the guns sold to the community or did they just come in and leave them like these kids were saying? Well, in the cases where the kids on the railroad track, if you know that you bring in a, a, a boxcar load of guns or fruit or TVs, mini bikes, or whatever, and you know that those trains have been stopping on this track since the 60s. And when they're heading south, you know those tracks are full of good, trains are full of goods and hell. You know, it's a thing. They realize what they're doing when they leave that shit here. Just like they realize what's happening when they sell automatic and semi-automatic weapons in pawn shops, where we can go and buy that shit with a fake ID. They know what's going on here. gang